Hey everybody and welcome to another HitPaw tutorial. In this video, we'll be showing you how to compress a video file. With a properly compressed video you'll be able to upload or download it faster. And in some cases playback will be smoother. And we'll show you how to do it. The first tool is called Handbrake. It's widely used best programs out there for video compression. It's also free and open source. So go to Chrome and simply search up Handbrake. And we're gonna click this first link here. Or you can just click the link in the description. Then you go ahead and download that. Now once you've installed Handbrake, you're going to want to drag and drop the file. Over or click this open file button. Now that you have your file loaded in, we're going to click web optimized here. This will help with YouTube and online playback. You don't need to do anything in these two tabs here. We'll keep the settings mostly a default. Then over here on the video tab, we're going to change the frame rate to same the source and set it to a constant frame rate. And we'll go ahead and change the quality to 23RF. This will give you a lower quality, but a smaller file size. And if you turn the slider to the right, you'll get a better quality a lower number, but a larger file size. We'll go ahead and optimize the video to slow. If we just hover over the bar here and see the tooltip, you should generally set this option to the smallest you can bear, since slower results will result in better quality or smaller files. You don't need to do anything for the audio, subtitles or chapters tabs, unless you wanted to of course, but right now we're just strictly compressing the video, so we need to give it an output file now. So go ahead and hit browse down in the bottom right, and we'll go ahead and find a place, and name the file. For example we'll save that there in our videos, and then we have to hit the start and code button, and that'll go ahead and encode it for us. And you can see the progress down in the lower left, here and it looks like we have about a minute, until it's done. And I'll go ahead and come back right after that minute. And we're back and it says Q finished. So if you look back in our folder here, we'll find our compressed file. You can see that the size on it is a little less than 10 megabytes. Whereas before, it was 80 megabytes now after compression. After encoding we now have a less than 10 megabytes video. So that was a significant reduction in file size. But if you think this is still a bit complicated for you, or you are looking for an alternative option, then hit PAW Video Converter is here for you. The free download link is put on the description. Go and launch it. Go to the toolbox on the top, and choose the first one video and image compress. Drag your videos or images in it. Click the setting logo here to set up the compress level. The middle purple part represents the interval suggested by the system. As you can see, the more you pull to the left, the smaller the video memory. Choose the format you want to save here. The default output format is the same as the original format. If you have millions of videos to compress, you can click here to apply all settings to the list. Maybe you can also choose MP4 format. Hit confirm after finishing setting. Click the folder logo here and choose the output file's location. Click compress and wait a second. Okay let's have a check. The quality of the video remains unchanged. But the memory of the video changes from the original. Okay it's all for today's video compress tools. Click the video on the right to figure out more video converter tools. Help it's helpful. 